What's going on today guys? Welcome back to DC Unplugged and today we're going to do a bit of suspension. So I'm going to show you how to adjust suspension and as well as that, that can be moved over to any other scooter fitted with adjustable suspension. So let's get to it. Alright guys, so we've rolled that intro, now let's get this helmet off for starters, so we'll do that. There we go. So first things first guys, when you've got your Nami, you would have got a little tool in your charger and um, all that kind of pack. We are here at Ipswich um, Cycle Track, so we're able to actually show you a couple things. We'll probably get the GoPro set up somewhere on the scooter here, so we can see what these adjustments and suspension um, will do. At the moment I do have the suspension currently sitting in a perfect situation for myself um, but I will walk you through on how to actually adjust that with this little tool here you would have got in with your NAMI. So this is actually the suspension toolkit so you would have seen a little random tool that you would have got with your NAMI. This here is actually to adjust your suspension. This is a proper NAMI toolkit that would have come with your, there you go, it would have come with your um, with your scooter and that is actually to set up your suspension. So out of the box, this is the suspension on the Nami's is not actually made for anyone in particular. It's pretty much just you have to do all the adjustment yourself. So being that it is a high-end scooter and it is a hyper scooter, all the adjustments are necessary and need to be done to scoot up for your Pacific weight. So preload, I'm going to talk a bit about preload suspension, um, preloading pre your springs for your weight and then what the actual red button on the back of it does. A lot of, there's a lot of stipulation and stuff on uh, YouTube where people just think that you just change the knob and that's it, set and forget kind of thing, but you actually have to load the suspension up to suit your Pacific weight. So there is a little bit, of, a little bit tricky, but I'll run you through the process quickly of how actually this, this adjustable suspension actually works. So as you can see here, we've got actually an adjustment tool, both on uh, adjustment ring collar on the bottom of the susp suspension, which that tool actually interlocks into, as you can see here in the clip here. And the red knob is just to adjust your dampening. Now, dampening is just basically when your suspension goes from basically looking, looking like a trampoline and adjusting the dampener to go higher and higher actually slows the suspension uh, the suspension down from being compressed. So I'll do a couple of clips here with um, myself standing on my scooter with the suspension fully out. So the suspension fully out in its softest setting. Now you'll see here it's kind of like a little bit like a trampoline. It's happily able to go down but if I grab the dampening and turn it all the way up to its maximum which I don't recommend but just for the reference of this video, you'll see exactly what that little tool does. And this is with the dampener fully maxed out. So that suspension really doesn't want to go down. I really have to force it to go down. Now dampening plays a really big role in suspension. So it's always really good to really just take it out to a place like here. We've got a nice little track to actually set, set up the suspension and suit it for your Pacific weight. So I'm a 90 kilo rider or 88 kilos floating around that mark. So my setup will actually be different to yours. Now what we want to aim for is, if I pull these out a little bit. So when you're standing on your scooter, you basically want it to sit a little bit down, but not all the way halfway through that suspension travel. So it's a good start. So when you stand on it, it only moves a little bit. So you're compressing so that you've you've preloaded the suspension for any um, for the extra weight that's about to carry, which is obviously your own body weight. So, because these because the Nami is such a customizable scooter and such a, a, well, a hyper scooter, it really is a lot of um, tedious work to actually make the suspension exactly how you want it to be. So, suspension is obviously key in motorcycle racing. Uh, car racing it all comes down to actually how you have this car set up or the motorbike set up same thing goes with this nami here you've got all the bits and pieces to actually make this a really nice track um, track styled scooter as well as being able to adjust it and actually move it around to actually suit your needs for let's say cruising and stuff like that downside is it's got to leave a little catalog or a notepad in your back in your backpack or whatever or even in your phone just to know where those settings are that you particularly liked for your scooter. 
So counting the threads to each one of these um, parts as well, guys, is another key point of actually figuring out how to adjust your suspension. Most of the time, these scooters out of the box, you'll see them sit around about down here, which is actually quite a fair bit down. So I've done that, so then that way I can preload the suspension to my weight. Now, I am 90 kilos, so if you do want to copy that, um, it's a good baseline for you to start. Same with the rear, I've got the rear on the same, around about the same, roughly. Using that suspension tool supplied by Nami, you should be able to lock onto these little um, divots inside there and be able to actually twist um, this way, just for example. About to move that collar up to preload and down for less. So obviously your dampening control is that little red dial there. You can see if you move it all the way out, that's going to become real soft and more be there so so ideally you actually do want the rear to be a little bit more stiff than the front the reason being is because when you accelerate it does tend to squat to the rear which can also bring the power off the front wheels so you realistically want the rear to be a little bit more stiff especially with your weight um, to then support you as you're taking off to try and keep that front end down and actually keep the power down this will also help in the corners as well because you're trying to push the front end or the, the nose of the scooter into the corners to be able to grip. Now you want the front end to be a slightly, uh, slightly softer than the, than the rear, so then that way when you're heavy on the brakes, it's transferring all the weight to the front of the scooter, allowing you to have the best potential grip at the front, which is where you really need it in braking and in cornering. So as well as that is actually keeping the front end a little bit stiff. If you do hit any front end bumps, the front is always the first one to hit, and that will actually help the scooter be a bit more stable at speed especially when you're hitting unsuspecting bumps and it won't want to catapult you off. Now, a lot of these scooters that I do see people riding around, they leave the suspension completely stock. And when that is, is when you're a quite a heavy rider, what ends up happening is you'll go over a bump, the suspension will compress, and then you'll hit another bump and it's like getting double bounced on a, on a trampoline and it just sends you flying. So it is really so important that you do actually spend the time to actually set these, scoot these scooters up for yourself. And that is the best way of doing it, is preloading that suspension, just making sure that it, when you stand on it, it drops ever so slightly. And that means that it actually has um, your weight set into that spring. So, and I always recommend that. Now, when it comes to high speed, uh, high speed, performance you do want it to be a little bit more stiff than usual so preloading and dampening is something you're really going to have to take to your local track and actually suss out yourself i've set up the suspension on this one um, just to be a little bit more stiff a uh, little bit uh, st stiff on the rear and a little bit softer on the front and i'm going to put the gopro on and see if i can get that suspension to be seen um, when mounted and let's go for a ride and see how that performs all right, guys, so I'm on the track. As you can see there, I've got you down near the suspension. Uh, there'll be quite the, uh, quite the view down there. And you can see what the suspension's doing as I'm rolling along. So um, at the moment, I've got it in a setting for track mode, essentially. Um, and we're just going to hit up a couple of corners at some pretty good pace. So just coming into a corner now, um, it's a pretty big sweeping corner. We're hitting it about 45 kilometers an hour at the moment. A bit of disc grind there. That's 60. Now on the brakes there a little bit. Back to 40. Going into some sweeping bends now. Now there is a little bit of vibration coming from the front. Um, that's just because of the uh, the actual uh, wheels need to be uh, balanced. So I've actually got a couple of uh, weights coming. Uh, we'll see if I can try and get that to really set itself off. Here it goes. There, there's the shake. So you can see there that it really needs to be adjusted. Bird. It really needs to be adjusted properly. So we need to have those tyres those wheels balanced um, so I've got five gram weights on the way and I'll show you how to do that in a pre in the next video but um, you can see here that even me coming in and out there's a wheel spin there There, 
So you can really see what the um, suspension's doing. I'm just gonna try and do a hot lap. I'm a little bit sketched out about where the camera's actually facing at the moment, because of where I've got you. So um, let's try and hit this corner at some speed. 60, 62, leaning, oh, mad vibrations. That's gonna have to be sorted out. Slowly pin it out of the corner, get past that vibration. We're hitting 80. Going into a hairpin at speed. Got the speed wobbles again from those unbalanced tires. It's really shaking me up a bit, eh? Real skid, tight corner, and back out, acceleration. Yeah, we've definitely got the speed wobbles because um, of those imbalanced tires. There's nothing I can do about it until I get those weights, until I can get that sorted out. So, hitting that apex, coming in. Braking test. Oh, Paz just uh, went up in a bit of smoke just then. <laughs> Herp -a -derp -derp, point at scooter. Meh, meh, meh. Amazing. Pointing. Hands going everywhere. No, I'm kidding. So I actually ran out of mic on on this part of the video. So I actually ran out of arm um, battery power for my microphones. So basically, in this end of the video, I'm just summarizing. Um, if you can put all, like, make sure you, if you can somehow manage to put all this stuff together and I'm hoping that the video obviously helped you guys out setting up your NAMI as well as, um, if you haven't already, um, like and subscribe guys, it really goes a long way. Um, and yeah, it's, uh, it always helps me bring more content to you guys and more stuff and, um, that I can possibly do in the future. So, um, the support from these guys has been, has been amazing and I hope to see um, more of you out in a cruise um, later on in the year. But um, yeah, for now, please like and subscribe guys and uh, good old mic issues always happen to the best of us. <laughs> All right, enjoy guys. Cheers.